what I want to talk to you today about is Adobe Spark. So they have a suite of of services, I want to say. Uh, right now, as of this taping, it is free. So Adobe Spark. So they have post, page, and video. So I'm going to go over all all three, but eventually, but I'm going to go just over page. So what Adobe page is, it's pretty much like um, medium. Let's just say medium. So if you are familiar with medium.com and uh, let's just go here and let's go to medium.com. If you're just familiar with that, so that's not a problem at all. Right. And then so let's just say this thing right here. If I want to start writing on Medium, and I really like Medium because just of how it is, and I can go full screen here, and then I can tell my story, test story, blah, 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 blah. And then once I hit my title, um, I can do my trip to Puerto Rico. Okay, so this isn't a, a, a tutorial on Medium, but I'm just saying it's like that if you want to. Do all that it has all the keyboard shortcuts things like that so let's go back to adobe um uh we're going to call it spark right and a spark page so same thing as medium if you look go back to medium you see this it's just real minimal you can do all this uh revision delete the draft all the other stuff so what i have here is i can add my title and i can type my trip to puerto rico okay and i can say chip desired all right, then I go and hit the plus sign, right? Then I can add photos. So if I upload a photo or I can find photos or I can go to Lightroom, and that's one thing I like about it. If you have a Lightroom already, which I already have, or Creative Cloud, you go to Google Photos, your Dropbox, anything like that. So I can just upload this picture real quick. And once it's uploaded, and there's the one picture right there that, that we took of, of the couple. Another thing I like about it is themes. So let's say if I want that theme right there, which I would never use, um, if I want a chic theme or something like that, I just, I'm a real minimal kind of guy. So I like this, right, the crisp theme, but you can change to whatever you want. If it says scroll to start writing your story. So, <coughs> pardon me. So what I'm gonna do, just hit scroll, and then you just write your story. So you have a photo, you have a text, you have links, you have video. So you can put a video in here. So just my YouTube Vimeo or Spark video, if you have. Uh, that's a Spark video is the other sister application with um, with Adobe Spark. And then if I want to just add more text, I could just add more text. Hello, this is more text. And then once I hit period and enter, I can select this. And then what comes up a context box, and you can add it there. You can make it H2. You can make it a quote if you want. You can make that. That's what I really like about this. You can really do whatever you want. It really controls the format. All right. So then you get to preview it. And once you preview it, you have that. Okay. And it has the branding at the bottom. So if you don't mind, you know, you can create your own. It's free for now, but it has their branding. But like Medium, who cares? I mean, it's, it's your stuff. So hit X out of there. And then what I really like, one of the things I like is this thing called a glide show. All right. And pretty much it's like a slideshow, but on it glides down. So I did one on my page and I'm going to just show you. So if you see my own spark, right, and you just scroll down. So let's just let's just hit the arrow key. Let's scroll down. That's just a regular. There's a video in there four pictures. That's me. And then once you see, then I have a link here. If I want to see my Facebook live behind the scenes video, you get to see that. Right. OK. All right, and then this is called a glide show right here. See how it just pulls up in full screen? All right, and that's that. That's that, just a glide show, like a glide show, but it gives you full focus on photos. All right, and I just did it for this just as a test to see how it worked and, you know. And then what I like about it too, if the photos are not, for instance, this photo was uh, rectang uh, 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 rectangular. So it was not wide. So I want to make sure I show her finger. It didn't go down, anything like that. So that's the glide show. And then it comes up. Then I come up, if I scroll down, impromptu pool photo shoot. All right. So then I have wedding day sneak peeks. I could have put that as a glide show, but I wanted that as a regular show and scroll. And then here's another glide show right here. Okay. 
So it always has create your own. You can create your own. And then you can do this. And just just a glide show. See how it comes in. The city pictures. And then that's all. So you can appreciate me. You can say photos by Chip Desar made with Adobe Spark page. And you can put your links on there. And all that stuff. So that's Adobe Spark page. I just wanted to show you just behind the scenes how easy it is to make a page uh, to add all of the elements to it so this will be my go-to now I have my own blog of course but there's nothing like having it somewhere else so um, you know I'm quite sure you can export this if you wanted to a PDF or something like that but I'm just gonna post this to my social media and other things so if I want to share this so I'm just gonna go ahead back to spark page and I can go to my projects right and you see all the projects I have so I have this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, delete that one right so I'm not sure and then um, later on I'll go over another tutorial I'll go over spark uh, the other sparks uh, post that is like Canva if you want to make graphics things like that and then spark video to make those info uh, infomercial or info kind of graphic videos that are really nice so that is my page right there it shows how many people viewed it how many people appreciated it and then I can share it again and I can share it right to Facebook and then once I go to Facebook here I'm gonna share it out and uh, I'm gonna hit only anybody and then here is a recap of my trip to Puerto Rico enjoy and I hit share link and once I hit share link on Facebook it goes there and then Twitter I will uh, buffer it because I like using my own links so I always hit buffer all right see my story all righty and then let's see that thing right there Adobe spark I don't care um, and then we'll put it to LinkedIn as well and then we'll hit share now uh, let me make sure that yep we'll share now and we'll go th go there like that okay so it's shared to LinkedIn and it's shared to things like that that all right, so then we will go to my home page and we'll see it right here. My trip to Puerto Rico. All right, enjoy. So when people click here, it says a story told with Adobe Spark. And then they go right there and shows and boom, it puts it right there. So it pulls the thumbnail either from, I don't think there's a way to change it, uh, but it pulls that thumbnail right there, the first picture, not this header thumbnail I'm quite sure if I wanted it to pull another thumbnail there may be a way to do that but that's how it looks once you post it from there so hopefully that helps and um, you should try Adobe Spark yourself It's free for now and it works on phones and the same thing if I were to show you my screen on my phone it looks almost exactly the same and actually I uploaded these four pictures from my phone all right and uh, they're not phone pictures, but it's just that I uploaded them from my phone and we, we went from there. So that's Adobe Spark. Hopefully, if you go on trips, you have vacations, um, you do things that are personal, uh, this is just can segment or this can be a, a good segment to your blog or to something like that. Just make it look really clean, make it look really professional really quickly. So if you have any questions, you can always leave in the comments below. But I hope this helps. Okay, take care.